Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So, continuing with our Bubble Wonder Abyss solutions, we're going to the very hard algorithmic solution. This will be fun. So this is the first grid layout we have. We've got one way the Zumbinis can go. This actually looks very similar to the second grid layout on the last difficulty, doesn't it? So if we send a Zumbini up, as of right now, they're going to go this way. If they have normalized, they're going to go down, hit this, and end up in the vortex. If we hit the green switch that might change. And then in that case, they'll go this way and also go in the vert vortex unless they happen to have a purple nose. But in that case, if they have sleepy eye, yeah, you can see this is going to be complicated. So if they don't have normal eyes and they don't have a cyclops eye, they're going to go down and into the vortex. So right now, most zoominis are going into the vortex. If we send a cyclops eyed zoomini, he'll hit the green switch and that'll change that, which means zoominis of normal eyes are not going into the vortex yeah. guaranteed anymore. So how many Cyclops side Zoomedians do we have? Only one! Well, how about that? And it also has a purple nose, which means he won't die. So let's try sending him first. Whichever Zoomini follows that trait, I guess send first and just make sure they won't die from it. <laughs> I would also ideally like to hit that red switch as soon as possible, because again, that'll cause fewer Zumbinis to go into the Vortex. Well, actually... Actually, right now, no one. Alright, so the green switch has uh, changed now. But again, Zumbinis are still in pretty great danger of dying at the current moment. So what we really want to do is hit the red switch as soon as possible, so that way Zumbinis aren't going to die. But if we do that, our purple nose Zumbinis are going to be doomed. So what we want to do is send our purple nose Zumbinis first, and let's see, how many purple nose Zumbinis do we know that have sleepy eyes? Only one. So this guy's important. He's going to be the last purple nose Zumbini that we send across, and because of that, all the purple nose Zumbinis that will be sent across, he'll be the, our last, he'll hit this, hit the red switch, which means we won't be able to send any more purple nose Zumbinis, but it means we'll be able to send the rest of our Zumbinis. So... Let's start. Oh, hey, not. Nah. Yep. Yeah. Purple knows everyone will be safe, so. And there's gonna be no overlap from what I can see. Oh, shoot. I hope there's no overlap. Oh, no, there won't be overlap. Because, again, it's the same amount of distance that they cover. Alright. You go next. Finish off the purple nose. Little man. Yeah, so he's gonna hit the red switch. Well, that's going to so that's gonna send us this way. So if we don't have a purple nose, then we'll go this way and nobody has a purple nose left. Now, here's the thing. If we hit this switch and we have a green hat hair, we're going into the vortex. Whereas if we go down and we have a ponytail hair, we're going to go into the vortex. You know what that means. We're going to alternate ponytail, then green hat. Ponytail, green hat, ponytail, green hat. So that way everybody can enjoy our funky chicken made with real chicken flavoring. Okay, and guess how many people will get that reference? Literally nobody. Maybe Marty if she happens to watch this, but I don't think she will. Alright, so alternating, we're starting with Ponytail, and just trying to work this out. Okay, over, over, putting the Zuminis really close together is probably going to be a bad idea. We can put these two close together, and then the next two close together, and the next two close together, etc. But after that, we should probably back off a bit. <laughs> and this is all just to make sure nobody dies. <laughs> That's important, right? <laughs> nobody wants to die. Everyone wants to live. Oh, we got a lot of ponytail zoom minis. We're going to have just enough ponytail zoom minis, I think, to get through this. If we had any more, I think we'd be in big trouble. But again, if we had more, the, uh, the grid layout... Well, the grid layout would be the same, but the traits that appear on these arrow switchers would be different. <laughs> oh, risky. So yeah, very hard. You can see, this, is a, this, this puzzle was a lot harder than the one last difficulty featuring those color switchers. So, again, I don't think that the, the last difficulty second grid layout was too hard. I thought the first grid layout was just too easy. <laughs> but that's just me. Or maybe that's just me. If you agree, like and subscribe.
Or you can like and subscribe and not think that. Or you can think that and not like and subscribe. It's your choice. Remember, that's just the first grid layout. We still have a second grid layout to work with on this solution. Let's check that out, shall we? job! Alright, we got the second grid layout real fast. Anyhow, this is the second grid layout. Once again, only one spot to send the minis out at the beginning, which is cool. So if we send them out first, if they got normalized, they're dead. If they don't have normal eyes, but they have roller skates, they're going to go that way and hit the switcher. If they don't have roller skates, then they're going to make it to the end, unless they have a spring feet or pink shoes, respectively, on that, in which case they're going to die. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be kind of the opposite of last time. First, we had to send all our purple nose guys first, but now we're going to basically find that one trait, which in this case is normal eyes, and send them all last, which is kind of cool. So we're going to send them up first. Oh, and we don't want roller skates. We have so we have our one roller skate guy, or roller skate gal. I'm so sorry. I I apologize for being unintentionally sexist. So she's going to basically be the last of our non-normal nosed guys to go because she's going to hit that switch, which will let us take our normal nosed guys across. Anyways, so we only have actually actually we have a decent amount of normal nosed guys. So we're gonna alternate pink shoes. Spring, pink shoes, spring, pink shoes, spring, pink shoes, spring. And it looks like... Oh, yes! We're going to be able to spam them, too. Because if they go up, they ain't going to be affected by anything. They're just going to sail on over there. And if they go this way, they are not going to... Oh, yeah. And then if they go this way, they're just going to go in a straight line, not interrupt anything on their way. So, again, pink shoes followed by a spring. All right. And be careful not to put any normal no zumbinis down. <laughs> oh lord, that would be so stupid of me if I did that. I'm so freaking paranoid about sending normal no zumbinis now. <laughs> Holy cow. Got it, normal nose. Okay, thank goodness. I like this grid layout better. It's it's I think this is laid out a lot better than the last grid layout, even though it's more or less the same solution. I like being able to spam the bubble launcher, okay? <laughs> Alright. So you little lady are gonna be every all the normal eyed Zumbini's saviors. You're going to hit that, you're going to be the roller skating gal, so you're going to go down here and hit the blue switch. Now we can set our normal nose eye, normal eyed guys up. And then they're going to go down here, and if they have a blue nose, they're in for a world of hurt. Unless we send Spring first. So this guy can't go first, but she can. She's going to hit this, be the Spring launcher, change that so then we can save everyone else. <laughs> So hit that launcher. We'll send him next. He'll be fine, and now we can just spam the others. Oh! The twins are going to be the last ones across. Bubble launcher spam! Bubble launcher spam! Yeah! Alright, I really like that one. That one is... That's one of my favorites, actually. <laughs> I like that a lot better. It's a lot less convoluted than the other grid layout, which I appreciate. And I also appreciate being able to spam the bubble launcher. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for Bubble Wonder Abyss on Very Hard. Well, Again, just do what I did, but just replace the traits. Because all that changes are the trait markers on each time. It'll still it'll, it'll be the same grid layout and maybe the color. But the color switch here will still correspond to that color there. And yeah, that's all you really have to worry about. 
Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Oh, man, you, you're going to want to tune in next time because we're going to the hardest, the last puzzle on the hardest difficulty. And I love doing that. I love the algorithmic solution I'm going to have for that. And I think you're going to love it, too. Please join in next time. And that will be probably my last episode of Zumbinis. About time it's over, even though I've enjoyed working on this. Anyhow, until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.